Hi everyone, my name is Emily and welcome to March Mondays. This is the first of a series of videos that I was hoping to post on a weekly basis um, because I love marches and it's my job and I think it's really cool. So yeah, here we go. Most people think of marches as being rah, bombastic, you know, trumpets in the front, just leading the way, always hammering and being loud, hard, fast and everything. But Actually, a lot of marches can be very delicate and nice, even in the trumpet section, believe it or not. This week, we have Vimy Ridge. I find Vimy Ridge is challenging in its own way because it goes back and forth between the epic bombastic and the light and delicate in the trumpet section alone. I find this to be actually a pretty underrated march. Huge battle for Canadians. If you played it really fast, it sounds a bit like a circus. Again, I guess every march sounds like a circus thing when you play it really fast. Trumpets have the fun bit throughout, um, but it's also a huge part for piccolos too. The trio is actually pretty challenging for the piccolos, so if you are selecting this for your band, keep that in mind for your pick players. Make sure they're cool with it first. I really like the trio in this one. Um, it just sort of soars above everything else little piccolo and woodwind things here and there, but the trumpet takes charge. Also blending with euphonium, that is key. Trios are for blending with euphonium. Second time around, once you get to the end, then you can let loose. And of course, after the trio, you have to save a bit of face because you have the bombastic like machine gun fire the whole time. And then back to machine gun, which is super fun. But then you have the trio again, but fortissimo, grandioso, a little slower, a little hard on the face. So worth it. It's so great. There you have it, Vimy Ridge, another classic march by Kenneth J. Alfred. Um, pretty much anything by him, military band-wise, is top-notch. So yeah, you can't go wrong. So enjoy and happy marching.